up. <clears throat> Today's lesson is Law of Sines. And you're going to use the Law of Sines when you have oblique triangles. An oblique triangle is a triangle with no interior right angle. You could use Sokotoa uh, if you have right triangles, but if it's an oblique triangle, you can't use Sokotoa, so you're going to have to use the Law of Sines. And the whole thing is we want to solve the triangle. You're going to see directions that say solve the triangle. To solve means to find the three sides and the three angles of those triangles. That's what we're focusing on. Here is the law of sines. Sine of angle A over A. Now remember, capital letter is the angle. Lowercase a is the side length. So sine of A over A equals the sine of B over B equals the sine of C over C. Now you can see that I've had three ratios here, but when you are working to solve, you're only going to use two. So you would only use like two of the ratios. And to solve, you need to have three of the four parts. You need three of the four parts to set up the equation. So here is an example. A is across from A, B is across from B, and angle C is across from side C. So example one, solve the triangle. We have an oblique triangle. That means there's no right angle. It has sides of 14 and 9 and an angle of 70. You cannot use the Pythagorean theorem because it's not a right triangle. So we need to use the law of sines. To solve, we need to find angle A and angle C. So we're missing two angles. And then we need to find side AB. Because we have these two sides, we need to find that side. So I've shown you I'm going to set up a proportion. Sine of 70 over 14, the so sine of B over B. And because I have 9, then I want to use sine of A over 9. And then you can cross multiply. So I get sine of 70 times 9. And we usually put it in front of the sine. So 9 times sine of 70 equals 14 times sine of A. You're going to divide those sides by 14. And then we have sine of A equals that. Because we are looking for the angle, we need to use the inverse sign. So what I'm going to type in my calculator is this, the inverse sign of all of this. Now, don't forget to move your calculator to degrees. And I'm going to type in the inverse sine of 9 times the sine of 70 divided by 14. And I'm going to get angle A. Angle A is 37.2 degrees. So that's angle A, 37.2. Now you look over here, there's still 180 in the triangle. So I've done 180 minus 70 is 110. Minus 37.2, 110, minus 37.2, and I see that angle C is 72.8 degrees. So now I found angle A and angle C. Now I need to find this side right here, AB. Well, because this is angle C, then this would be length little c. And now I can use the law of sines to find the length of little c. I'm going to set it up right here. Sine of c, but I know that c is 72.8 over c is equal to sine of 70 over 14. Now, I chose to use 70 and 14. You could have used a and 9 but I just picked 70 and 14. You're going to cross multiply and you're going to get 14 sine of 72.8 equals C times sine of 70. Divide by sine of 70. And then you're going to type this entire thing in. 14 times the sine of 72.8 divided by sine of 70. And ang or side C, AB, is going to be 14.2. So I've used the law of sines to set up proportions to find my missing angles and my missing sides.
Sample two, solve the triangle. And this one, I was given two angles aside, but I need to find angle D, and I need to find these two sides, EF and DF. So the first thing to do is to find this, just let's just subtract from 180. So I'm showing you 180 minus 51, and then 129 minus 38 is 91. So angle D is 91 degrees. Then I'm going to use what I have to set up my law of sines. I have 51 and 4. That's going to be sine of F, and then we'll call this little f. Sine of D, and this is little d, sine of E, and E. So I've used 51 and 4, and 38 and E. So I'm going to set this up, cross multiply, and I get 4 times sine of 38 equals E times sine of 51. You would divide both sides by sine of 51. And to find length E. So 4 times the sine 38 divided by sine of 51. So length E is about 3.2. So that would be DF. 3.2. Then we need to find length D. We can't use the Pythagorean theorem because this is not a right triangle. It's an oblique triangle. So I need to set up using my law of sines. 91 is across from D. So sine of 91 over D. And then you could use either one. I'm just going to use sine of 51 over 4 again. You could use 38 and E, 3.2, but I'm just going to use 51. Cross multiply and then divide. So we're going to have 4 times sine of 91 equals D times sine of 51. Divide both sides by sine of 51. So 4 sine of 91 divided by sine of 51. And D equals 5.1, and that is the line EF to 5.1. So remember, the law of sines, you're going to set up a proportion to find either the missing angle or the missing side. We'll practice more.